Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our Warrior of the Nile series. So we ended last episode in pretty good shape, if I do say so myself. We are currently fending off Scythia's paltry attempts at attacking us with our Patati archers. Um, and we're almost done with um, our ancient walls. We're almost done with a library. The scout has arrived down here, so we're definitely going to have this scout continue looking around on this continent, finding out what else we have, finding out what else we have to explore. Excuse me. She keeps sending me deals that are not actually acceptable to her. That's really weird. Your knowledge of engineering has advanced considerably. Nice. Um, we can clear those notifications, and let's see. We have some new choices to make here. Meroe, we could go ahead and start working on Jabal Call. I think that is the sensible thing to do. Uh, we could really build it in either place. I think it's better to build there because there's a. There's a faith bonus when you build it there. Now, El Kuru. I think what I'm going to do is get a builder started here, and then we're going to improve some more tiles around Meroe because we need to make sure that... Hang on, let's look at where the citizens are working. Uh, well, I guess they're on production focus, and I can't improve any of those tiles. But if there's a chance... If the city's going to grow in four turns, so maybe the eighth citizen, when that builder's done, will be some somewhere on a tile that I can improve. All right, so we're going to use this scout to see what's going on with the other barbarians in the area. This builder needs to go up and improve that wheat. Gonna have the archer stay on alert status. So she's trying to come attack me, but basically coming through these woods slows her down so much the archers are able to fend her off pretty easily. Actually, if I put another archer here, it'll, it'll be even better. If she sends multiple units. Hey, a goodie hut. Yeah, no one's been down here, and this is the bottom of the continent. Good to know. All right, let's improve that wheat, and then we need to improve those horses. Yeah, her, her advance has been incredibly anemic, and it looks like the luxury resources that we got did, in fact, help us. So we are no longer, we're not unhappy in any cities. Let's go for Celestial Navigation, so we're caught up there. We don't have any coastal cities yet, but I think we're going to have one soon. No! Die. I hate you. You are the spawn of Satan. With your sultry lips. And bosom window. <laughs> it's an honor to meet you. Sorry, I don't want to tell you where I live. All right, so she's from another continent. But the continent might have a connection uh, via shallow water because she's got a galley that was able to discover where I am. Now, now what, did, what did we get from that? Because we met Egypt in that same moment, I didn't see what we got from that. That's actually kind of frustrating. I didn't see what we gained. Maybe it was an extra citizen? I don't know. All right, so we've met Cleopatra. Refuse deal. Let's send a delegation. Medieval era, nice. 75 BC. So we're in the medieval era somewhat early. Now I could go for I could go for Petra in 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 Napata as opposed to in Meroe. That might be a smart thing to do. It could, yeah, it's, it's, it would be better than Meroe. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and go for Petra in... I think what I'll do first is is queue up one more builder, just so that we can have maximum production, and then really try for Petra. Oh, hello, crap. All right, well, this scout might be about to meet its end. We'll see how this goes, but he could get trapped here if I'm not careful. Should have known something like that would happen. All right, so this is our new trader. Let's go ahead and put this new trader in Sedenga and help that city grow. And then, yeah, improve those horses there. That might help Napata... Oh, no. Cle oh, Cleopatra built Jabal Barkal? Oh, man. Okay. We're going to find Cleopatra and conquer her. So, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, we were building that in Meroe. That was going to be our wonder. Um, kind of a shame to get beaten to that in my first Nubia series. But it's okay. Let's, um... Let's see. A theater square would be a good idea, I think. Um, let's put it there so it gets the pretty nice culture boost. Let's definitely go for the market in El Kuru. And it looks like the scout might survive. I don't know. This is going to be dicey. I, I don't think that scout's going to live. If they attack it, which they have no reason not to, they're barbarians. They'll kill it however they can. Well, crap. I didn't know I was going to walk right up on that um, encampment. The terrain was a little bit too hilly for me to notice what I was getting myself into. So I could trade with El Kuru and get a lot better production but it wouldn't grow as fast. 
No, let's let's trade with Meroway. I think it's important that we have as, as many citizens as possible. All right, so rest in peace, Scout. It was nice knowing you. Damn. Yeah, he's gone. What a shame. Here I was, you know, the Scout Ranger plus mod really does make Scouts more survivable, but in hilly terrain like that, it's just dicey, and I knew there was an encampment, but I didn't think I would find myself surrounded by high-level units that quickly. So, that's life. Yep, let's keep that route going. Haven't seen a single attack from her in a few turns. I am pissed that Cleopatra got your bell bar call. That is ridiculous. Okay, tech tree... engineering, probably. Or actually go for castles and have access to Alhambra. Yeah, let's go for that. Because we can get Alhambra, then we'll be in even better shape. Okay, so now we've... Why are you doing this? You are such an idiot. She keeps moving... Settlers done. Notice we have an indication now that there is a ranged attack available, finally. Which is nice. We have crossbowmen now firing from our cities. Let's capture her settler again. This is now three cities I would have gotten from just capturing her settlers. So this is working well, I'd say. I wonder why she's not trying to colonize more north of me. All right, let's go for feudalism so that the farms give us additional food. That's going to be the next choice. There might be some additional bonus uh, bonuses there as well. Civil service. Yeah. It's a start. Okay. Petra. Petra, Petra, Petra. Let's go ahead and put you here. Now, of course, the farms are not going to grant... If I, if I group these three, we'll have extra food production in, in the pot, so we're definitely going to have farms there. But there's no additional production tiles until we can improve the lumber mill, or the, those uh, lumber tiles there. So it's going to be a bit. But let's do the watermelon sedenga next. If I put you on production focus, you'll be done a little sooner, but you'll stop growing. That's not good. Let's put you on food focus, because that makes you grow one turn faster. I'll never complain about that. This settler, where can I put you? I can put them all the way down here, or I can put them out by this die and finally have a coastal city. Or I can put them up by this coffee and do, and have the same. And have the marble and the coffee. Yep, let's go ahead and put a city there. It's going to take 10 turns to get there, but I think we'll be okay. And I'm also going to have this spearman escort them. Oh, good, they're done with their theater square district already. Let's go ahead and buy an apostle so that we can evangelize belief. We've had enough faith for that for a while, actually. And, yeah, another builder in Meroway. You stay there because the citizen, or the settler's about to join you. Yep. Nubian Pyramid, excellent. Every district I build there is going to be faster now. Then we'll go back and improve the sheet next turn. There you go. Put you there. Good, we got a progress boost towards feudalism, which we're working on right now. So, so far, we're seeing a lot of synergy with our research. I wonder how we're doing compared to these. Yeah, we're definitely in the head of the pack right now with the AI, just given how well things are going. This apostle just needs to evangelize belief. Choose belief. Uh, plus one culture for every five followers of this religion and other civs, um, which would give me some benefit in keeping Tamiris alive. Cathedrals, papal primacy... Mosques, plus one gold for every four followers. Stewardship is probably the best one to go for. Yeah, let's do that so we get the science boost. Right, clear that notification. God, I cannot believe she built Jabel Call. That is just infuriating. All right, let's send this builder over to Sedanga. It's going to take a few turns, but it'll be worth it. So this spearman, you just need, you are literally just escorting them. So this settler needs to go where I told them to go, which was, where were they settling? Right there? Yeah, just go. And then don't look for orders, because you're going to have something to do every turn. No, stop. <laughs> so we're getting some extra amenities from the fact that we have multiple districts in, in our cities, because our, our religion helps. Actually, it's it's not helping that much, because that's only for Meroway. Um, so we'll need to make sure that I... Spread my religion shortly. Oh, shut up. I 
seriously hate Cleopatra. I hate her so much. Oh, God. All right. Um, yeah, let's do a missionary. We need to spread our religion so that we get that benefit that I was just talking about. Because I was talking about it, and then I was realizing, wait, I actually don't have that. Do ancient walls in Maryland just in case she finally sends a formidable attack force. Let's also, because we haven't yet, let's go ahead and get the barracks built there. Yep, improve those sheep. Oh, sh yeah, screw you. You're not going to be saying that for long, especially once I retake the city where you built my wonder, jerk. All right, let's get a farm going there. We definitely need food production in that city as much as possible. Let's move that missionary over there to El Kuru. So there's already a little bit of religious influence. Um, yeah, sure, your delegation's most welcome. I hate you. Refuse. We don't have any war readiness right now, so there's no reason to stop this war with Samiris. It's just not necessary. I think I will build another Nubian pyramid. It's a shame its benefits don't stack the uh, production bonus. That'd be cool. Maybe I'll build one there. Okay, I think that, yeah, I think that'd be the better kind of puzzle piece style move to make. Now, civil service, naval tradition. We still don't have any city-state allies, so I kind of want to go straight for theocracy next as a new government type. So let's just beeline for that before we do anything else. Go policy slots. Oh, what do we lose? I guess the bonus towards ancient era units. Yeah. yeah. Let's do the production bonus towards encampment districts and buildings for that district, because I feel like we're going to be building an, a number of those. Extra production towards settlers are not really using it, so newly trained builders gaining two extra build actions would be better, probably. Ancient and classical wonders, not really building any of those anymore. Yeah, let's go, let's do the builders policy instead, because we already have extra charges on our builders thanks to the pyramids, so imagine if we have two more on top of that. It's insane. So I will do it. Knowledge of apprenticeship has advanced considerably. Very good. Let's go up and improve that cattle. Looks like this settler has almost arrived. Okay, we don't need another missionary right now, but we could actually benefit from another settler, probably. D do I want to train it in Meriway, though, or maybe try and train it in one of my other cities? Oh, they've got a knight coming in, finally. About time you train something a little bit more robust. Well, if you've got a knight, why don't we go ahead and train another spearman, just in case we need it. I'm going to back this archer off, just because I'd hate to lose them over silly reasons. Okay, good. Oh, we didn't build a farm there yet. Let's do that. Okay, and one more charge for the missionary, so that should be able to at least exert a little bit of pressure on Napata. 33 turns away, no, from Petra being done. I really hope we get Petra. That would be amazing. Let's see, if we attack you and then fire with the Patati Archers, we should kill the knight. Which will give you even more war brainness, Tamiris. Have a nice life. And we got insane amounts of experience for that because it's a higher level unit. Alright, so almost done with the barracks there. We're already benefiting from that production bonus. Yep. We're going to build that uh, farm there. Sedenga so should grow much faster than 22 turns. Yeah, well, not much faster, but 18 turns is better than 22. Yeah, El Kuru could build a, um, a settler, but first let's do some additional builders. We've still got two more build charges on this settler. Actually, you know what? I could clear this marsh, I think. Next turn. All right, so this spearman has arrived. Settlers arrived. Good. Settle. And we'll, we'll have the spearman hang out for a bit just in case the city does get attacked. But we're going to need to get a trader up here pretty soon. Let's go for the monument first, so we get just continue to have good civics and maximize that benefit. This is going to be a well-defended city. I like it. Meroe, speaking of civics, let's go ahead and get that built. Now the ancient walls are up. Spearman's ready. Let's go ahead and put them on the farm there, just in case it's needed. Clear the marsh. Excellent. So we've got nine citizens in Meroe now. Okay, so that didn't quite convert Napata. Because there's too many citizens. Terracotta army's been built elsewhere. 
Cleopatra built it. So she's building a good number of wonders, which is not surprising. She's Egypt. All right, we've got one more build. Let's do a farm. Probably a farm there, too. And a, and a farm there, too. That would actually provide a lot of food for Meroe on account of having the, um, the benefits of feudalism. Okay, we can now build Alhambra, so we need to go for that as soon as humanly possible. Let's go for engineering and machinery so we can access... Well, actually, hang on. We could keep going for... Yeah, let's do that, because then we can go for Forbidden City and have the extra wildcard slot policy. Or the wildcard policy in general. You know what I mean. W wild card policy slot. There we go. <laughs> All right, so a builder just finished here. I could go ahead and train a settler in El Kuru. That's one of my first cities, though. I'm, I'm hesitant to do that. Could train a knight. We have one iron, but we ha because we have the encampment, we could train a knight. Yeah, let's go ahead and train a knight up, because we're going to need to start moving before long on Scythia. We'll build a farm down here, and... <laughs> All right, listen, listen, if you're so desperate. Okay, she is willing to give me one of her cities and she's even gonna give me iron for a while if I give her some of my gold income for 30 turns. She, she will give up a city. That would be a huge win. And it's the city closest to me. We wouldn't be at war with her anymore. Yeah, let's go ahead and accept this deal. All right, so now we own that city. Progress towards Divine Right has advanced considerably, and it has an encampment too, so it's got a holy site. Uh, it's got... Yeah, yeah, this is... That's a fantastic win for us. Now, she is of, of, of a different religion, so we could build a Gurdwara here, but I think what I'm going to do instead is go ahead and build a stable. We've already got a barracks here in El Kuru. So we'll do that. All right, our gold income has gone down because of the gold per turn we're giving her, but I think we can compensate for that in some other ways. Yeah, it's already gone back up a little bit. All right, let's 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 bring this builder. It's still got five builds. Come up to Paziric and build some stuff, because, oh, wow, there's another settler. So she's still going to try and settle around us, which is funny. Didn't think about that, that she would immediately try and just start settling other cities, but of course she will. Because it's the civilization AI, they're going to be a jerk in as many ways as possible. I mean, it's fine that she's settling other cities. What's funny is she's trying to settle them, like, around me. Settle cities up here. Like, there's lots of resources for you to have good cities up there. Development of civil service is now complete. Let's go to the next turn. Meroe can have another district. So I could go ahead and do an entertainment complex, which would probably be, probably be a good idea. I could put it right there. Um, and that would benefit us in a number of ways. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw that down. That'll entertain all three of those cities so that uh, amenities don't become a problem going forward. It is 540 AD. Okay, so they're converting my city up here. I'm not happy about that. Not terribly surprised, but I'm not happy about it. All right, we need to make sure production continues to be amazing in Napata. So let's have them trade with Okuru so Petra gets even better. But once another trade route's ready, we're going to put a trader up in... Is it Nuri? Yeah, Nuri. I'm kind of tempted to declare war on her again, honestly. Let's denounce her. Oh, cool. Must wait five turns after denouncing. So we, we have five more turns. For a second, I thought we could we could declare war and take that settler again. I was going to do it, too. <laughs> I was so going to do it. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do another settler. We need to. And now Kuru can actually go on growth focus. Let's keep an eye on your shenanigans. What are you doing? Need to improve those bananas first. Ah, damn. Apadana's been built. Man, some of the other wonders are going up fast. This is probably some of the fastest wonder building I've seen on the part of AI. I wonder who's building it. Let's go for the arena here. That's a shame. I think we'll be okay, but that just means there are other AI that are, that are relatively where we are, despite how things are going so far. We'll have to keep an eye on them. We need to train some... Um, boats, basically, in Nuri and start going out and finding the other continents and finding the other civs so we can better know what the hell is going on, basically. Mm, 
let's do another builder in Paziric, just to really improve that tile as much as possible. Why are you so determined to settle all the way down here? It doesn't make any sense as a settling decision. It really doesn't. All right, let's move this trader to Nuri, as promised. It genuinely makes very little sense. Petra's 11 turns away from being done. Is there a good food and production? Yeah, actually, Paziric wouldn't be too bad. And it would uh, create a nice road. Let's go ahead and do that. Two food, two growth. It's not the most productive, not the most growth-related route, but I think it might be the best choice. Okay, we can get our next apostle now. Oh, actually, I thought it was 400, but we just need 330, so we were fine there for a bit. Now, Sedenga can build its first district here. Now, looks like there's a couple of... Yeah, this would be the best spot to build it, most likely. Especially because the Nubian Pyramid's there, so let's throw that down. Followed by this... Evangelize belief. What? Didn't the game just tell me that Alhambra was built? I'm pretty sure it did. I don't know how I feel about this. It's giving me the option to build Alhambra. I mean, it's in El Kuru, it's not going to be the, the best choice, but that's strange. The game just told me Alhambra had been built. Uh, that's weird. All right, let's go for a granary in, in El Nuri, and then... Uh, um, I guess... Yeah, we'll go for a mosque, so that we can have the plus three faith, but then the additional spreads for our religion. That'll be the best choice, I think, because the, the faith yields for those two different building types were very similar. Now, interestingly, I could harass her settler with my knight and keep her from settling down here, which I think she's trying to settle down here. That's what's happening. So let's go ahead and, and do that a little bit. Let's see what happens. This apostle, I already got rid of them. Build another farm there. So Pazirik is already gonna is already becoming a really productive city. Let's go up and improve that stone, make them even more productive. How much is the mosque? 475 faith? Yeah, we're nowhere close. Do another builder. We need to send you up to Nuri probably and improve the marble as well as the coffee. We don't have enough gold. Yeah, we just need more gold at the moment. They're still getting around me. I don't have enough units to really harass them, so I doubt we're going to be able to beat her to the city she wants. But these barbarians could give her some trouble, so maybe I'll back off and let the barbarians deal with her. Your emerging guilds have plans that require a large influx of gold. Perhaps we can find a way to let them take out a loan. Knowledge of banking has advanced considerably. Nice. Yeah, so let's back off a little bit and let these barbarians harass the city. Let's see what happens. Also, I might actually be able to declare war on her. Yeah, I totally can. Hang on. Are we ready, though? Pazirik has... We'll have medieval walls in 23 turns. But it'll probably be sooner than that, because... I'm about to do a lot of production-focused stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and declare on her again. <laughs> this is just, yeah, I think it's the best choice. Let's go ahead and do that. You have betrayed the trust of Tamaris, and now you'll pay. Well, I want your settler. Sorry, that's just the way it is. Let's send this archer down this direction. Nice. Alright, so this means the barbarians could take their settler, but it's fine by me. 
Your knowledge of mass production has advanced considerably. Okay, good. Let's also go ahead and improve that stone. That might have been the last charge for that builder, which would be good, because I really... Yeah, it was. Good. I don't want a vulnerable unit in that area. So the seventh citizen in Paziric... Yeah, those medieval walls should finish faster-ish now. Interesting. So that settler is now mine. I was expecting that to happen. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and keep this settler here. I don't want them to go anywhere. All right, Meroway is needing to do what? We could build Chichen Itza. Plus two culture to all reinforced house for the city. Plus one production to all reinforced house for the city. Must be built in reinforced. And there's there's definitely room for more reinforced. So we could do Chichen Itza and get a lot from it, actually. Let's do it. I can't remember the last time I built Chichen Itza in Civ 6. Very rarely have a good opportunity. Let's leave that settler there. Again, this archer is really going to help us fend these guys off. But we have two settlers in the area now that we're back at war. <laughs> so this is going well. Let's see. Yeah, let's get some extra production out of that tile. And we can do an additional farm here. Help Paziric grow faster. Looks like a bit of an amenity problem in Paziric. Oh, they didn't do anything that turn. Interesting. Let's see. Let's attack the stronger of the two units here. And then we use the knight to attack the weaker. And then let's move the settler as far away as possible. It's just so they're not in danger. Then we need to find out where we're going to put both these settlers in a second. Nice. Promotion available for that knight. That came at a good time. All right. I need to go ahead and stop this episode. Let's see. What? Petra is a brilliant display of man's okay. art history. Okay, nice. I got Petra, but what unit got captured? Rock into majestic wonder. Okay, yeah, we got Petra. Sorry, I'm pissed. What just happened? Oh, that settler. Up there. Oh, okay, fine. Like, it's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and... Man, they really moved quickly to go around me and take... <laughs> that was a really dumb move. Okay. Now we could have a set. We, we could have a city down here to get the um, the tobacco. I'd rather have a city a little bit closer up here because there's better, more productive food tiles there. So I could put a city there and still have a harbor. I think that's where I want it. Right there. Crap. Of course, there's more. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this one here, but I think we're gonna be fine. This knight is also promotable, so let's go ahead and give them charge so that they have more strength versus a fortified defender. We're gonna have to take some settlers back probably in the next episode. Let's give some orders to these cities pretty quickly. Still saying I can build Alhambra. I'm pretty sure that's not true. I'm gonna have to go back and watch and make sure I'm not crazy. But we do have access to crossbowmen now as well, which is nice. Um, we could do an aqueduct district in Okuru. Not gonna do that, but it's good to know we have that option. I am gonna train another settler. And then Napata is ready for some districts. We could do a commercial hub in Napata and do quite well. Now that we have Petra, that city's just going to be insane. Yeah, see, this is interesting. I could... I could put another Nubian Pyramid here and get the equivalent gold bonus from putting a commercial hub here. Here. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And finally... Yep. All right, that didn't really help the production time on that too much, unfortunately. But we are working on other things. Okay, I'm going to stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to continue uh, settling this area. We're probably going to... I don't know, we might be able to eliminate Scythia from the game pretty soon. I just think that would be the smart thing to do, and then maybe finish colonizing this continent, because things are going so well. It's 860 AD. It's a little bit astonishing how quickly the game is moving, to be honest with you. Because we're on episode 3, and we're in 860 AD. Um... I guess just because we haven't had that many, um, we haven't had that, I'm, I'm looking at this now like, holy crap, this is crazy. 860 AD, we're in turn 154. Maybe the latest patch improved processing times, could that have been it as well? Because we're on a large map, that's got to be it. I didn't see anything about improved processing times, but I just want to take a second to reflect on the fact that we are in turn 154 on episode 3. I'm going to have to switch back to playing on epic speed just so that we can... You know, have, well, yeah, have longer series. I mean, this is still going to go for a while. I think we'll have a significant endgame, but we are, I mean, good lord. Hang on, how is everyone else doing compared to us?
I can't really tell. Cleopatra's ahead of us in culture. So yeah, this is it's going to be an interesting next couple of episodes because we're already in the medieval era. Despite, you know, having not played for very long. We're playing on standard speed too, right? Right? Yeah, standard speed. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.